Okay, let's troubleshoot this silly thing. Uh, two things will happen with this valve. Number one, it won't fill the boiler. Okay, if it won't fill the boiler, it means that this thing is not feeding anything through. Well, I showed you in the take apart the screen, which is down there, which would normally be in there like that. You can pull this cap off and check the spring and see. You can flush it out there. Uh, there's al almost every time, I won't say every time, but almost every time, there is a shutoff valve upstream here. So there's certainly supposed to be. Uh, so that you can take this valve out. Okay, you check that first. It's been my experience, it didn't seem to make much difference. These valves, the way they're, well, the material they have to work with is water. Water is nasty stuff. There's assorted chemicals in it and salts and so on, and it jams up the valve. And I showed you that little valve right in there and how it would push uh, down, the spring would open it and so on. Well, a lot of times the valve just gets jammed and there's nothing you can do. So it won't open. The other thing that happens to these things is it's very common for them to overpressure the boiler because the valve leaks. The seal, the seat does not work on the valve, so when the valve closes, a little bit of water passes through. Uh, it's been my experience that uh, if you come to an older valve like this, this one's not very old, but uh, if you come to an over, older valve, I usually say anything over five years, and I have to do work on the boiler where I have to take the water out of the boiler, I replace this valve. I've just had too many problems with them. Uh, you'll get away from it, and you'll get a call the next day. There's water on the floor because of pop-off flip. Then you've got to come back and do everything over again and replace that valve. So, uh, the two things that happen uh, is it will either overfeed or it won't feed at all. And of course you can check that, sp that screen. It hasn't been, it, it really has not been common for this, uh, the screen to be the problem. Uh, usually they just, they get to their pressure, they stay there, they stay there 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 years. And then they all of a sudden lose some water because they had a leak someplace or something, and then it won't feed because it's just jammed. So I end up replacing an awful lot of these valves. Uh, there were just too many, too many problems with them if they'd been in over about five years. And that's the FB38 pressure reducing valve.